Detective, detective, what have you seen? Detective, detective, what could it mean? Go detectives! Detective, detective, run, run, run! Detective. What does a guy like the chairman need this for? He's a chairman. He probably just uses it for porn. What? Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Yeah, Date. A bronze dragon. Finally, he talks about it. A bronze it. dragon holding a golden ball. Golden ball, huh? pronounced partition and I know okay I think we've already seen like all of the uh hey Sally how's it going if you actually enter a bar instead of a restaurant don't feel obligated to order a drink even if the bartender gives you that order a damn drink look it's quite the motto Hey, as long as you order something, right? Hey, I have a look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. Your Discord account got it hacked. It's clearly a tiger. How did that happen? Are you sure maybe you didn't forget your password or something? It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. You should try to, uh... Reset your password, maybe. Scary lanterns. Scary. You don't have to repeat it. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this guy. Where is the chairman? What? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakura... Okay, I remember this dialogue, actually, so I'm getting the feeling I can just you skip through most of this. Date, wait. Yeah, I remember this. I'm assuming this is mostly going to be all the same. Date, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee uh -huh, table. Uh-huh, ashtray. It is peculiar. Thermal it is. imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa ashtray. I don't remember that from last time. Um, facts. Hey, fact. Sly's looking a bit different tonight. Yeah, I, I was hoping I could get through more of Isomnium just so I can, uh. get through it. <laughs> Cigarette butt inside of an ashtray? Never. Hey, Iba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. It looks kind of like a French fry in the thermal vision. Klein. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Okay. These guys don't talk though, they're too beat. Nothing to say to you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we're supposed to look at the sofa too, huh? Uh, you, you, I don't think you have anything to apologize for, Sally. Not just a cigarette, but a recently smoked cigarette. Right. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. She literally just told us that both of the things were recently used. 
I guess we didn't take her word for it. Jay, that's me. What are you talking about? You're the first guest today, although you are an uninvited guest. Uninvited? That's an NES game that I reviewed. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. All right, I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not yeah. possible. Dang, this time we don't know who Ace Set is, so we can't call him out on his hidden Ace Set figurine. When I came in, that seat warmer tech. Mistake coming here. Dude, a, home. a couch with the seat warmer? That'd be sick. Who's this asshole? Can we try Twitch? I mean, I would like to try Twitch at some point, Neither but on the sofa. as of now, I don't know if it's really. Neither I think I stuck. attempted to double stream one time and it just wasn't feasible. Or I think you need to like pay a subscription to get a program which can double stream. So they unfortunately left. at the moment I don't Who think... left? Uh an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I'm still considering like maybe doing like once one day out of the week, maybe I could stream on Twitch and it'll be like a looser type of stream. Where I'm not necessarily just trying to get through a game. Maybe I'm just playing a game I've already played before, or like just mods, or just something casual. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here, and I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit, which means whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Ooh. Let me check the back. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I keep. I keep getting like sleepy before uh right Why around this time, that? unfortunately. To say hello to our guest. One time I even napped through the stream time. I'm telling you you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Yeah, who is Somewhere it? Somewhere behind that wall. Is it A set? Oh, it's the freaking politician, dude. Sword, if you're hungry, I have a solution this for you. Whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking you should try to, uh... My evolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Wait! Wait, what? He's joking, right? Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. Is he not getting enough medication? They brought up his medication a lot near the start of the first playthrough. I cannot approve and I feel like she was hinting towards that again right now. It seemed like a joke before, but now it's like, wait, does he actually take medication so he doesn't act crazy? Damn it. What does your icon look like on Twitch? Um, I don't remember. Probably the same as my YouTube channel. Dude. Wow, apparently the QT is coming a lot sooner in this playthrough. But I'm just, I 180 him immediately. Quick turn. Dante, a porno mag at your feet. What? Why is that always the solution? Whoops! I was looking at the chat. That was close. Way too excited. Hey! Did you just shoot at me? No. I'm just holding a gun. That's it. Oh my god, is that necessary? Hey, well, wait a, minute. a little excessive. I thought they downgraded their firepower. Is this an alternate universe altogether? Maybe it's medication where the side effect makes them all pervy. I mean, that would explain why sometimes he's extra pervy and sometimes he's less pervy. 
Did he just shoot the golden ball? Doctor, load a bulber with explosive rounds. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? Oh, that. Why? Just do it. We destroyed one gold ball. So what happens if we destroy the other gold? Ball? I wonder if at one point they actually let you like choose between the different ammo types. Because that really does look like a selection screen type of thing. Kaboom! Is that gonna open a secret? Okay, never mind. Okay. Alright. Save me. Iba, how did you know this would happen? Everything happened as I simulated it. Well, Iba likes to simulate things too. So we have a lot in common. Where's this portal mag? You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? Imagine what the freaking politician is thinking. You're a grown man. Thinking. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit! Hey, coward! I see you! Show your face! I know you! You're... He just leaves. Or is he gonna sit down? That's Sejima. So, Congress. Congress. What is this guy doing here? Hmm. Hello, Congressman. What are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. About Renju. The president of Lemniscate? We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. This kid sure work is a lot more talkative this time around. Company. Company. It was just some party hosted Hello, by some Sally. company or it's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Do you have an alibi? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. Mm. Seems so often on TV, feels like I've met him before. Hello, smiley man. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Hola, DK bros. Including Moma. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide. Yeah, 
What's it? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. I feel like I heard this already. Rohan was my old. He was my big brother in this war. Six years ago, he. Yeah. Okay. We heard that already. About Renju. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now it's kind of the opposite, you know. We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. About Shoko. Ah. <sighs> well, I guess. I think I remember this too. I lied earlier. When they I were working with you her. And the were a part of yeah. Yep. Whenever any Okay, I remember that. Well, now what? The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Date, a call from Lemnus Gate. Connected. Really? The receptionist? Um, you remember, like, how you said to call you if OSA came? Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Iva, I've determined that these talking meat bags are worthless. <laughs> Dispose of them. I was getting out of control. How's my day? My day's fine. Thank you for asking. I hope your day's going well. Oh! Wow, I didn't think that would actually work on these. Whoops. There's definitely something going on there. I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. All right. What the heck? Scream like a little girl, roar like a lion. Possible. Oh. How did a jellyfish get in here? I thought that he was going to tell her to do that. So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Izuki? It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? Oh. Idiot. We must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? There they go anyway, again. Your eye, but right. Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. How are you doing this? I okay, mean, we've already been through this. You uh, So and Momo are suspicious. Sorry, don't do this to me. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious, but there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. Victims were displayed tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling, and their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. I know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Tsujima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. About your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? You don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form. He said I did this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, we've been through this. I was bored last night. Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Based yeah, on your preference. I yeah, I remember that. Uh. 
I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some Towards sharing spoilers in Japanese, well, lucky for you guys, I can't most read of them come across as pretty much most of that. Movies. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Anyway. Mr. Sajima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion. A restored samurai castle, but 20 years ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district, to be exact. Okay. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast Is that the place that had the, the uh, the nuclear meltdown? Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. Yeah, okay. This caused Kawasaki to become a restricted area, and of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. So he's got twenty-nine billion yen in his pocket and one billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. That would be true. But there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kawasaki region crashed... Is she gonna finish? Oh, we will have to continue this conversation later. Really? I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? Ah, audio only. My name is Akasuka, from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. Prisoner 89. We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concern? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you, just like that left this eye used to, to see. Prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good okay, work. now I have a finish what you were telling me. How about... Do you think there's anything to this? Maybe. I don't know. I have a finish what you are telling me. Iba! Why, Iba? We still have to drive. Tell me about the weird reason why he bought the land back. Wait, we literally didn't even go to... Okay. Whatever. Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Sure was. Yeah. It was. So that... Was Mizuki's mom? Mizuki saw her own mom, and I just, I just left her. You sure did. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Good luck, buddy. Oops. Oh god, you're cute. Let's see. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
I think that laugh says otherwise. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. You're kidding. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, uh, thank you for the call. No problem. Surprising moment of introspection from Oda. True. By the way, in the next Somnium route split, I strongly recommend taking path that has you hit After the TV. All, it means we get to see each other again. Whatever that means. I'm glad. Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? Oh. I kinda like that. Oh boy. And I kinda like you. Okay, why did that have to Oh, look? but there is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. Oh. Is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. Okay. She's recording a podcast right now. Looking at her schedule. It should end soon. Uh, oh, great. Wow. They're just... Yes, that's what I've decided to call her, not to her face, of course. Hey, girl with the big tits. Well... Um, excuse me? Shit, I said it to her face. I want to run away and never look back. Good lord, Date. Date, look! A little stink bug! That's Oda. Yay! A stink bug! That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. Where have you been? Nowhere. Just Secret reception is ending where she's a reptilian. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Juro's and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. Didn't you guys want to, one of you guys tell me recently what a dojin was? Isn't it like, like a fan manga, right? Oh, that's room to wear. Who is that? Runderwear? Runderwear? The way he said it, it sounded like... like underwear or something. That's the... what about high school? I said stool! <laughs> oh no, how to get rich with Cryptocurrency. I'll definitely be taking that one. Dante would be the type to get NFTs. One more bowl, please. That would be Soba. Mmm, Soba. Dojin plus do, Dojinshi can be any type of fan made work. So they have whole doors of fan-made stuff? How does that work? Is that just that in Japan you're just allowed to do that? Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. Yeah, she's only my I have no reason to hide roommate. It. It's sort of hard to explain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think you've even explained it to the player. Well, kind of. Here. So I know Date. <laughs> I know that he's like What? Yeah, what? Westenine? That sounds dirty. How does that sound dirty? If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What are you talking about? What kind of novels are you writing, kid? This game wants to make everything sound dirty even if it doesn't. Ah, yes, the questioning scene. 
clearly the sexiest part of the novel. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. Whoa! That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. My thrall? You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Oh, okay, so I guess we've already had that happen in this timeline. W wait it's no big deal, I just... You better start talking. Okay. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Mm. Someone was with him. A man. A woman? No. A woman. Um. <laughs> You don't even need the thermal, this dude just stood up straight up. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? Wow. No, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Huh. Okay, fine. There's no point well, in Well, that would explain why he was being so difficult. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Tess has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. But Tessa, I know, wouldn't hurt anyone. The silver case actually had a really messed up storyline involving an idol. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your met that attitude Oops. is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. So you like Tessa so much because she inspired you to write more fan fiction. Okay. A lot of otaku like Seems me say that right. Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. But do you suspect her? Oh, I got five likes on this. Cool. I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But do it for Iris. I did it for Johnny. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Hmm. Oh, there she is. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Here comes Iris. Oh no, Iris is gonna beat up Date and escape prison. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. Is 
is Ota's storage room. Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okiura called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with Renju? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He I mean, she works for his company. For it's not really that MC. suspicious. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl big he asked to originally got sick and hey, couldn't come. Hey, that's the Beeb. Everyone. Do the big but shot I meme. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. The way they're spelling MC out is bothering me. Uh, what did you do after you turned him down? What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. I murdered Okira. him. I mean, uh... At 6.15pm. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Oh. But she's saying, like, specific times? Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times mm. leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Depends. Sometimes I know when I've, like, gone and... Uh... You know, like if I'm if I planned out the day, you know, or if I plan on leaving a place at a certain time. Weird, it's supposed to be an acronym for Master of Ceremonies, right? Yes. Um, there's also like a DJ variation of that, where instead it's uh, oh, what is it? What is the other version? It's like. trying to remember I mean yeah master of ceremonies is the proper one but but I feel like there was a uh, there's like a rap variation of that but I can't remember what it is what were you doing from seven to nine last night I was at home the whole time you're sure yes Iva. So oh, Mike Checker. Mike Checker. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. That's true. Some people are really good at lying. Oh, that kind That's of why you can't rely change. on a. What is it? A litmus test? What are the, whatever those truth tests are lie detector you can't rely on those because some people can just lie and their heart rate won't change at all correct renju's estimated time of death was eight and other people night. can like tell the truth and their heart rate will still go up because they're nervous if iris's story is true she couldn't have done it there is run tmc yeah. even if iris was at home she could have killed renju you mean uh-oh I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. I knew she wasn't going to be home. This morning? Polygraph test. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Uh, right. Like, they used to use those, like, in court tests, right? I don't know if they were ever, like considered a, a foolproof evidence of in court i think even back when people did use take them more seriously they were still considered to be flawed but i think at this point they're just completely like, not even used at all anymore where was she i don't know you don't know i know where she was she was at the uh s senator or congressman's place come to think of it Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. 
Uh huh. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Murdering Renju. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? It sounded too, like, quick. This morning, on the news. Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so if I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Seems reasonable. I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. Including the hooks. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? So you can help me figure out how the criminal erased the footage. That's all I want to know. I think at one point they were used by police departments to establish leads or probable cause, but not sure it's Am I a suspect? even been admissible in court. It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Yeah, teenage girls have never killed anyone before. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. I think Mizuki could strangle someone to death. Have you seen how much she lifts? And she's even younger. So hey, let's not rule that out. Let's see. Iris could have killed Renju because... Um... I'm going to think Renju's autopsy report would be the first thing I would do. Well, let's look Renju's at it. Renju's estimated TOD is yesterday, around 8 p.m. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Right. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. Well, I guess since if using a rope or cloth, I would make it easier for someone who's maybe smaller to strangle someone who's bigger. So I think... Iris could have choked Renju to death. If you are searching for proof of this, you will not find it here. Oh, I'll try the weight then. Or the sedation, duh. I didn't even notice that till right now. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could That's why have it's important to read everything before you go around clicking stuff, kids. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. How did That's you know true. he was? Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Wasn't Mizuki lifting over 200 pounds at home? Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. True, lovers and pulleys. Ingenuity? The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open. With about an empty, it weighs approximately 44 pounds. Okay. Discovery of the body. Renju's corpse was discovered at the mid hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. He was found over the the wire was attached on both one end was attached to a hook that was embedded okay, inside. I think this is Renju's gonna be the proof I, Yeah, attached the to other, the beer kegs. The kegs hold approximately twenty liters of liquid. Right. They weigh approximately fifty-five pounds each. Alright. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, 
The wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in its jaw. You still have to worry about a health bar like Ace Attorney. Then all you need oh, to God, do is put really? three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds It doesn't each. feel random though. Like the selections here all make sense. You just have to make sure you've considered your options first. But that's not impossible. Even for a teenage girl. Mm, Unlike the Somnium parts, which are actually trial and error. Mizuki's a special case. After that, you say that now. You get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? Yes, the three yes. kegs weighed 165 pounds. You Renju get the point. The kegs weigh but enough to hang him. But what? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. Yeah, so she'd have to carry the body the if whole Iris way there. Is the culprit. How did she move the body? I know. I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? All right, now we're thinking how could she have moved? Now, are there two pieces of evidence could it be that put him in the oil drum and then roll it? That seems silly. And then put him on the Sunfish elevator. Pocket. According to the records, from the elevator stopped on the second floor at 8:55, the total weight detected in the elevator 310 was pounds. 310 pounds. Oh, and we knew how much she weighed because we were holding, we were carrying her that one time. Was she around 140? I don't remember. We'll try using these two examples. Oh, but it's how does she move the corpse though? Um right, I'm gonna see if this no. Oh, it's just you weren't allowed to do the weight one first, that's weird. Because at first I was thinking weight in the barrel, but you had to pick barrel first. Oh no you didn't, never mind. Well, I don't know then, because there's the barrel. Did we use the autopsy report already? Well, I know we found his watch in the oil drum, but how does that have to do with she could have done it? That just would point evidence that he was in the barrel. But I feel like that would be the next step. First, we have to explain that he could have that putting him in the barrel would have helped at all. You know what I'm saying? I know but, this was range okay. found that. I feel like they skipped a step there. Like this is more evidence that he was in the barrel. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite block. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum. It's right. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. Right. We just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off, but the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure, just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Yeah, Dante, the way that you're you're saying it is sounding really accusatory, even if you're just trying to say it was possible. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? Me. Just make the eyeball pop up and dance around on the table. That'll be an appropriate time for that. Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? Okay, well then this will be the evidence that she wasn't the one who did it. Where is this coming from? Is the elevator. If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, 
then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extreme. Oh, that's right, because you have to count the, the weight of the oil drum as well. Why do you say that? Okay, well, we already know what to do for this one. Rendu's weight. Plus uh, oil drum weight. Plus elevator record. Iris. On which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Why are you... Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. True. However... Let's see. Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Equals murder. Don't turn around. Uh -oh. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. Whoops. I, I was trying to examine the room before I examined her. But I didn't realize that clicking on the camera would progress instead. Ah, shit. What happened? He was texting someone? Uh-uh. Won't tell anyone about that Iris, thing, even if they torture thinking? me. What is that thing? How could you text in the middle of an investigation? That's very rude. Now put your phone away. What if that's hey, all he said? Answer me, Iris. Darn teenagers She's these days. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. Uh oh. Huh, I wonder if we're gonna go into Shovel Forge or if it'll be different this time. Iris is experiencing medication is working perfectly. How about it, Dante? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny now that you mentioned that fact that they like had to do I've hacked five security cameras Let's in the room. Begin. Check out this footage, Date. Check. Instead of Iba just being like, oh, she's texting on a phone, she wastes his time by making him like review camera footage. It's kind of silly. What kind of cops are you? Can't even notice when a teenage girl's texting on a phone. Are you guys telling me to hit the TV because it'll be better if I do that route first? Or do you guys just like that route more? Wow, this place is different. Is that the cold storage place? What or is, is this, this place? the place that the prototype sink was located? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown. But there she must can't be, be depressed. She looks so colorful and happy. Iris, what are you hiding? Somnium scan activate. Form of Iba. Mental lock one. Is this gonna be the only one? Oh no, there's two. It's a window. Three is the floor. Four is. 
Discover Iris' secret, a mysterious room, videos, and strange device. You may be able to find the truth. Sinking in the rain. I'm sinking in the rain. A CRT TV. Well, I guess we get to hit it. And you know what? I would have spun the dial first, so it's a good thing you guys told me to do that, because I would have, I would have spun it. Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. You know what though, literally, I had a CRT TV that would have trouble turning on, and you literally had to hit it to make it turn on. It was weird. Like you had to hit it, or else it just wouldn't turn on. It was weird because like the button would still like trigger it to be in on or off mode, but nothing would happen. And then when you hit it, it would do the and it would come on. And it got harder and harder to like you'd have to hit it more times and stuff. Well, this is an old fashioned object, so And I still don't know what it is exactly that why it did that, but Yep, that's how you do it. It's all a mousey. Oh, bloody mouse. Uh oh. Two routes that have hard cutoff points where the game tells oh, you no, come back later when you know more. Hitting the TV steers you away from one of those routes. Oh, that's good. So that'll probably save me some time, too. Open palming's the best way. A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. It's a dream image. She technically invented it no matter what, because it's her dream. Well, I guess it could be a drawing she saw someone else draw, and then she dreamt of that. That's also possible. Alright, so now we're on the, whatever the route, right? Uh-oh, I forgot where the second metal lock was located. Was it the window? I see many objects in the room. Smell, oh my god. Why, why do we always have a smell option for everything? Well, that's the least amount of time, but it'll give me a times four. Oof, oh well. There is a sweet smell, like syrup or almonds. Well, it's either a sweetener or... Possibly nitroglycerin. Uh oh. I didn't know nitroglycerin smelled sweet. Because nitroglycerin explodes even from slight impacts, it is. Whoops. That's a tell, huh? I did not expect Iris to be aware of how to handle such dangerous chemicals. Okay. Five minutes left. A shelf. Doctor. Various. Damn. Well, now we're gonna times four, whatever the next thing is. So maybe we can find something else. Damn it, I can't remember what the second mental lock was, though. A full this is gonna suck. Damn it, is there something else we could do that costs less? A double door. Okay, well this costs a lot less. We'll, we'll use this. I figured we weren't going to be able to open it. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. Acetone. God. That wasn't really a joke, right? You you made that up yourself. A full body mirror. Fuck. Let's try punch. Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Oh, now she's really gonna you break ask it. Me too, pervert. How? What are you talking about? How's that perverted? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Like I can't even tell anymore. You see, it won't break. If they're legitimately doing pervy stuff that I just aren't, I'm not catching. What was the point of that? Or if they just call everything perverted. A full body. Four minutes. All right, um, let's time six this. I 
Simba, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm taking care of Date. He's so troublesome. Oh, I understand. He can't do anything without you, can he? Yeah. Cut it out. This is a waste of time. Maybe I have to do some. A revolver. Scum. Is it real? It appears that way. Is it real? We're in a dream. Look down the barrel. Oh, that sounds safe. This is the cheapest one. Let's go with that. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will. We need a bullet. We need a bullet. There'd be something somewhere else that has a bullet. A shell. Something in the bottle, maybe. Well, good job, Iva. Okay. What? Maybe that'll break the mirror, and then that'll be the second lock. The explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream. Oh, I guess I just need to touch all the TVs, or do interact with all the TVs. Okay. I, I thought that second one was the window, but I guess it was the TV I was supposed to be looking at. Three minutes, Date. Um, where's, where's the other TV at, though? Well, I don't have any bullets yet, so... Oh, there it is. An analog TV. Well, hitting worked last time. But it's working though. It's working. I don't think we'd want to hit it, so maybe let's just turn the dial. That didn't do anything. Nothing is happening. Oh, that was a waste. Maybe I should just hit An it. Analog. Understood. Okay. This operating. An operating tape. Perform surgery. Now that costs a lot. We could sleep also, which costs even more. Let's uh, perform surgery. Surgery? For whom? Just act it out. Act it out? Oh, maybe we'll pull this a bullet out. Children's playtime. It might help reproduce a memory. Come on, pull the bullet out. Then we can put it in the gun. I feel like I'm on a medical dragon team. What? A medical dragon team? Imagine performing surgery on a dragon, that'd be crazy. I guess that's another lock. I like that it makes your whole your whole screen do that effect. That's a neat effect. Something has spawned. I was hoping we pull a bullet out though. I guess not. You wanna check it out? Gas canister. It's less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. Where's that one? Over here. Maybe we'll find a bullet Just in here. Just a lock? Get another swing out of six. Okay. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. What is that reference thing? Why was it booby trapped? What the heck's a Delta Princess? Good idea. The heck? The knife that flew out of the locker. Oh! To Puku. I don't know about that one. It 
Let's uh, push that bad boy in. Ouch! I didn't say punch it. It cannot be pushed in any. That's okay. I feel ripped off. If he, if she was gonna punch you, they should have said punch. Of course, a punch wasn't gonna work. Is that just gonna be an insta death if we do that? Like this? Ah, well that did it. What? I only threw it lightly. Well I'm curious if you if you Tempaku if it actually drum, game over. Torso. I think I understand. I'm starting to see the picture. I'm not. I do not yet understand it. Unless it's all just relating to the fact that she did hide the body. Like maybe she didn't kill him, but she helped hide the body. Well, no, they didn't hide the body. They put it on display. It's completely different. Dang, we're still not done yet, though. Well, now the gun's pointing right at the TV, but we still don't have a bullet, do we? So what's a new thing that's in the room now where we could get a bullet out of it? This torso, maybe? A naked to Choke. Ah! Well, what happened to the dude? He got choked, right? I would rather not. I know, but please try. Is he gonna spit up a bullet or something? Nothing happened. Really? Ah, oh, that's BS. A naked tort. You punch it, could a bullet fall out of it? Oh, she just refuses, and it still wastes up two minutes. You don't need to get a bullet. But he literally said we need a bullet. That's that's very misleading. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, then I guess we'll try shooting again. I'll give it a shot. Different angle? As I thought, this we need a bullet. We need a bullet. He said right there. And we and we know we want to hit the TV. It's literally pointing right at it. A revolver. Unless I need to like look down the barrel or remove it first. Bring your face closer. Hmm. I can't even see the opening. It's like a silhouette. Bang! No, I cannot see anything. Oh, did you say something? I didn't think you'd fall for that. I'm sorry? I'm sorry too. A revolt. Then what, if I remove it, I don't, I feel like, I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna try to remove it and you're not gonna be able to move it at all because it needs to be pointing at the TV. That's my guess. I'm gonna, try because it Doctor, it, less than it pointed out this Immediate. body so i feel like this body's an important part of this puzzle i 
nice punch. Thank you. But nothing happened. Oh, Damn it. And our time. A naked torso. <sighs> Well, we're gonna, we're gonna run out of time. Whoops. I don't see how talking is gonna produce a bullet, but they really wanted to point out this torso. Anything can happen. The torso might talk. Why in a southern accent? Well, I'm a excuse me. You know a gal named Iris? What's that, partner? What happened? It said. Why are you talking to a mannequin, you idiot? Are you sure that isn't your commentary? Ain't no talking. Well, uh, well my... we're out of I was hoping what I could at least try one play? more thing. All right. Well, there, is, but you do get checkpoints, right? I always forget about that. So. I'm pretty positive you have to shoot the TV. Like the gun is pointing right at it, and each of the TVs you've, you've been having to hit each one. But I just need to find a bullet, as far as I can tell. A common. Well, why would a bullet come out of that? All right, I'll try removing the gun now that I. A revolver. Have more time, just so I could see. But I'm pretty sure it's just not going to move. Be able to move. Yep, that's what I figured. It needs to be pointing at it because you're gonna shoot it. Oh, this is new. It appears to be a butterfly. Okay. This is a reference book of butterflies and moths. Is it Iris's? Unknown. There is no name written on it. Okay. A butterfly reference book. We will try throwing it. Go fly! It fell into the ground. Like in quantum mechanics. When you touch a wall, your hand has an almost impossibly small chance of going through. In this Somnium, it appears such phenomena will happen regularly. Is Iris familiar with quantum mechanics? I don't believe so. Well, but... All right. What else Dante, is new? You've got less than thirty seconds. Oil drum. An oil drum. I didn't notice this oil drum this whole the whole time. No use. Maybe we don't have to open it. An oil drum. I feel like sometimes when they say stuff, it's a hint, and other times it's just could be anything. Well, we're gonna use up our remaining time for this, but at least we'll see if there's actually something in there. It's pixelated. That makes my brain hurt. That fit what? What does this mean? Oh, there's the bullets. Okay. Maybe well now we know where they are. Gun? Okay. Date, we're out Damn, what the hell is Alright, now we know where the bullets are. I knew I had to find a bullet. There's no way that gun would be pointing at the, uh, at the TV for nothing. And then also the fact that he literally said we need to find a bullet. An oil drum. Weird that that time it did the weird TV thing, but every other time it was when you broke a, uh... You have one minute left. One of the locks. 
A revolver. It's okay, sword. You can't remember everything. The shoot option also takes earlier? up way more time than it did before. And also, do we need all the bullets? This could work. I'll try shooting it. I feel like one bullet would be enough. So long as your aim is true. Is that because her mom is having an affair with... Well, it can't be an affair because her mom wasn't with anyone else at the time. But is her mom having a relationship with uh, the congressman? Although most political people in politics tend to be married because it's good for their public image to be married for some reason. So, he most likely is married, which means he would be having the affair. I guess it would be an affair. But then again, maybe he's not. Isn't that weird? We've never had like a single... As far as I know, we haven't had a president who's, who was single. Maybe we did it way in the past, but it's definitely not been a thing in like the past, I don't know, 100 years. Did you notice anything weird about So's body? Did he have breasts, or what did I imagine that? Because I thought it was like someone else at first, and then I saw his face, but I don't know if I was just seeing it wrong. When I saw his face, I assume it was just me seeing, look, like seeing the body wrong. We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. Yeah, that looks like breasts. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris... Okay, see, I wasn't sure if I just was looking at it wrong. She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. He kept insisting he had never seen her before. We saw that shadow kiss him too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I feel like 99% of the time, if someone is ki you're, you're kissing someone in your dream or they're kissing you, that's not reality. It's gonna be just some random event i'm sure you've had dreams of kissing right. celebrities and porn stars right the first part yes but the second part no you sure about that anyway you know what i mean a dream is not made up entirely of memories it can include things outside of your memory like tv or like movies. your memory of tv or movies even if the figure was supposed to be iris her smooch in her Somnium smooch. does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. You can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. Yeah. She might not, like, it just be a complete coincidence that he showed up. It happens. We were silent for a time while I was deep in my thoughts. I heard Peter Doctor, speak. Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Give my short reply. Headed to the sink room next door. Next door. Kind of a weird description. Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? 
You forced me to sign it. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. Or maybe he's also a huge Ace fan. I mean, apparently everyone is in this freaking game. What? Aset holds all the cards and she doesn't even realize it. I said there's actually another door that will take you to the sixth basement floor of the government building. I'll leave Iris to you. Is there something you want to ask me? You should be talking to Iris right now. You can't make me. I don't want to talk to Iris. She's scary. You remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Yep, you don't you you forget most of your dreams anyway. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Yeah, that sounds really sketchy. Because it is really sketchy. Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. About that Nile message. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. I won't tell anyone about that thing. That thing? What could it be? What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone Pretty is so sure broken. you know what he's talking about. But he definitely sent that Nile message. Wonder if the sinker remembers the Samia more than their regular dreams. Um, well, Iva says they usually don't remember it at all, right? Ota purchased a new phone do the... Akihabara yesterday. The same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, he looks Konami Dante. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I can I'm see you. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Wait, just ask him over the phone. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number one. Oh boy, here we go. Persons may I am a sovereign a citizen. Or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Hello, Luke. How's it going? Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. Bring her this to the maid cafe, and I'll tell you everything. Oh, does Date remember the Somnium more than a dream of his? I, probably, as considering he's a detective, he seems to remember every single bit of it. So, what are you going to do? Shit. Not that big of a deal, just head over. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. Wait. So when Date's talking to someone in his brain phone, he's using his thoughts and the person on the other end can hear his thoughts? Or did they just explain that strangely? Detective work's going okay, just weird. Tessa. Sorry to hear you're sick. I hope you get better soon. Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. I know it's that it's time like of year a lot of people are getting sick right the now. Police. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. Uh, about that thing in the Nile. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? 
Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo. Was there gonna be sleeping gas on the photo? That, look at him leaning back. Wow. Wow. I mean, I kind of jokingly thought, what if he did that? But he really did it. Now, if I would jumped out at that point and, and like danced around like a gummy bear, I feel like that might have freaked them out. I can't believe he fell for that. I thought they were just going to make a run for it, maybe. It's pounding. Oda must be new. I recall. Oh, Date was slash is a bit of a pervert. He definitely is. What time is it? There's a lot of perverts the day in this has game. Over. It is Monday, two fifty a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. I can't believe Iba didn't like try to talk him out of that. Oda got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Here's the thing, we know where Iris lives and we know where Oda's mom works, so it's like, dude, what is your game plan here? <sighs> Bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know. But afterward he ran off with Iris. How do you know? She you saw lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. She gonna have like some impossible camera angle of Dante getting. Oh no! Nope, okay, it was actually Walter. Uh, I'll get the car. You win. Uh oh. You, you stay away from my boy. What did she just do? What's wrong? Did she like put did her something happen? hand up to the mom? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. Ota. That's it. Did something weird there? She like put her hand up to the mom. What if she was just flipping her off? <laughs> Turns out Tess is just a jerk. Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. Yeah. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. Ah, uh, that's <sighs> conveniently inconvenient. Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Oh boy. Just now, the killer. Oh. Just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. She imp she whispered something. Hmm. I'm gonna go with. Okay, well that's chill. Don't worry, Iris. Yes. I will protect you by bringing you to a place to get your eyeball ripped out. Okay, James Bond killer. Really, Jigsaw. No, that's... Oh, that's the worst, Luke, when your milk goes bad. That's actually why I like... One reason why I like almond milk a lot. It lasts way longer than dairy milk. Iva, source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. Alright, let's get going. I kept my foot on the gas this whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. Actually, beer be real quick, speaking of milk.
You actually reminded me that I put this, I, I had this iced coffee from this morning and I put it in the freezer earlier because it melted before I finished it all and then I completely forgot about it. So now I have it frozen. Uh, it isn't frozen solid though. At work, we put, wait, out of everything, it's a sad place to be right now more than usual. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, so you, does your work have a break room that has like milk and stuff? Engine raised a high pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding and my ears shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Excuse me, eventually the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after the image changed. Um. <laughs> that sick bastard. Wait, what? Okay. Sure. Didn't you guys mention a polar bear? Like, I said polar bear for some reason by accident, and you're like, no, no, the polar bear is later. Okay, we get it. She's gonna get sawed. Whoops. Ah! Okay, Otis showed up. Gosh darn you, polar bear. Oh, you're gonna punch the polar bear? What the heck is going on? Feels like we're watching a Monty Python sketch or something. Please, please let me make it in time. I think that's what it is. I started calling it polar bear and then I said I met panda bear. And then someone said no, the panda bear's later. No, the polar bear is later. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Wow, did you see how fast Date just drifted in and parked? Well, Date's not having a good time. Considering okay? how small he is, I think he's that's a lot of blood to be missing. Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. It's almost like you shouldn't have knocked me out. On, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Back yeah, that car really stopped on a dime. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Dude, I think Oda's bleeding out. Maybe you should call in for a backup. Well, the boss is the one who sent us there. Why? Why didn't? It, why isn't there more police showing up already? Surely she told more than just us. Any traces of the culprit? Oh, I guess. Okay. Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Maybe it's not a costume. It's fine if Oda dies. Look, he may be a little creep, but... We gotta be nicer than that. Oh, the bags were always full of something before, but now it's not. Oh, we're just not commenting on anything right now, are we? It's almost like there's more important stuff going on or something.
Wow, yep, nothing has extra commentary this time. Wow, I feel ripped off. About Iris and Oda. They were taken to Central Hospital. Dude, that's what I thought too, Luke. It looks like he has like the Captain America shield, right? Oda's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life threatening. Was he stabbed or shot or Iris, what? Though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. But she. The only thing that was bleeding was her eye. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed because the optic nerve or the eye hole, to the brain. The surgery will take some time to complete. Mm. Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Ota has a death drive belt buckle? Date, I feel like I know what you're night, talking about, Mayumi but I just the diner to have been not Iris really Ota. analyzing it since the first time I saw him. Yeah, let's listen to Mayumi's story. All right. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have. Okiara Fishery, Renju. So we know that they own that. Another connect. No, I but they don't actually own it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Want to hear from the representative? They're giving statements at HQ. Right? The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. Oh, speaking of. Hey, boss. Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Take Jeez, care of her. Getting around to asking that? I know, we just ditched her at the freaking bar. Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house. So Who knows Mizuki how Mama influenced her all that time she was alone there with her. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found any. Date, Iba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. There's you never might be anything able to find there. Some useful clues. So, Sajima? He was an I. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess. But he's I not going to tell us anything unless this timeline he's just way more talkative. All right, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. All right. Right. From this angle, it looks like you should be able to see up her skirt, but you can't. Okay. That's new. Dang, we have a lot of places. Well, the, the warehouse never has anything in it, so let's just go there first real quick. Red of sugar, just substitutes instead. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not really a, a fan of fake sugar. It's like if you're gonna have something that's sugary, you know, you kind of gotta commit, Two unless cars. maybe you, you know you have diabetes or something. These cars have been parked here since before 3:17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. Hmm. I'm guessing that this station wagon is a stolen uh, car. Stolen. Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. I thought maybe one of them was the one that Oda drove. It was drove. stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. Oh, that's supposed to be Family Mart, maybe? The Famisto parking lot, huh? Family store. Is that a Family Mart? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. Oh, okay. So he, that is the car he brought in. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Uh -huh. Correct. About ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
color bear. Although a lot of people don't, like, most of the time when you think about diabetes, you just think about, you know, you can't have sugar. Date, look, the school of mullet. But it's more about, like, regulating Man. sugar. Aren't the fish so cute? Because, um, a lot of times when, you, when you're diabetic, the big problem isn't even that you're, you've had too much sugar, is that you don't have enough sugar sometimes. And when you don't have enough sugar when you're diabetic, you get really sick and you need to uh, you need sugar ASAP low blood Lada. sugar is not it's good it looks like a person what no never but obviously you don't want it's your blood sugar to be too high either in the shape of a woman oh but I see silicone doll inside I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with this case why is there a silicone doll in that box can you please move the crane? Date, please shut up. Oh, stop. I don't get it. Like a zombie saying brains? Low blood sugar sucks even as a non-diabetic person. Yeah, I suppose that's true. It looks like that girl Reika from the cabaret club in Nakamaguro. It looks nothing like her. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's the cabaret girl that Dante likes a lot. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Toy Story. Tessa, wait. Lucas, uh, I'll get the car. Lucas says, I need sugar. I'm a sugar daddy. Oh. What is that? E Emo. I've, I don't Ota's fingerprints ever were found see on the that steering one. wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the How'd only you post that? Is that like name. a YouTube emoji? Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's Why are there two the cars? Now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Huh. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Yeah, All right. Let's check inside the okay. That's the first time we like really check the outside of the warehouse like that. It was wow, in my emojis. It's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. Oops. You have a family. I'm not gonna talk to that guy. Yeah, see, that is a lot of blood for someone Oda's size. A lot of blood for anyone. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse? That dialogue we've seen before. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse. Any fingerprints? No, no fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. Otis should be, unless he's always wearing gloves, which he might be. But I thought they were like fingerless gloves. I don't have great visual memory though. It's a smiley face, but more creepy. A cold room is probably good for evidence collection. This entire True. I see. It'll the keep DNA alive for longer. Broken. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. Has it been moved in a years? A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. There's like a lot more going on in this timeline I feel like compared to the first one we did I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse like literally the other one we just drove around forever trying to find Renju I feel like that's okay, pretty much girl. all we did that's just that and then talk with Tessa written directly on the router. and I guess they tried Anyone to kidnap her it, once yeah. but this one it's like all this crazy stuff's happening right, right from the beginning Any progress? I 
check this place point by point. Didn't find nothing. Asked the cop on the scene and he said there wasn't anything special in the dark spot over there. I'd say left eye. Shadows on the left cast right. It's dark over there. Is it of concern? Yeah, but without some light. I am perfect for times like this. There are. Wow, you guys sure searched this warehouse really well. <laughs> There's not even under anything. You should go pick it up. This is the first rod I went down on my playthrough. I think Sword told me that they chose the balloon cage, which is what I chose, and like no one else that they talked to who played this game chose that same path. Which I don't know why, because the balloons stand out way more than the other cage. I didn't even know what was in the other cage. <laughs> I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. Ooh. You've been collecting them for three years. He collects chocolates? Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Oh, that's Years neat. ago, you started buying them for Mizuki. But eventually, <laughs> you got hooked on them. When you, try, when you buy a children's treat for... A child, and then you start liking it. Just use a flashlight like a normal person. True. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. That seemed like a big package for a chocolate. How big is that piece of chocolate? Ah, oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. I agree. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, there was more going on there than I thought. The receptionist or the deceptionist? Wait, so Sword is saying that the large breast behind the front desk is could be the murderer? Make sure to talk to your friend, the inspector. Well, no, because isn't like all you do is talk to him and you just ask for his name over and over again? Which I still can't remember his name. So what's the point of asking him if, I, if I'll never remember? Um, uh, who might you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. Plus, we got to get through this game, Sword. I gave you my card. You said there's six endings. I've only had one ending so far. We have oh. a lot to get through. So how can I help you? I had a revelation too, because you said the estimate playtime was like 20 to 30 hours, but that's for just like the base playthrough, and what would be considered a a full 100% playthrough other than analyzing everything, which is what I do anyways, so I feel like I actually have like way more I have to get through, so I'm trying my best to kind of like skim through things that aren't really important. Because I feel like I'm just like really behind. Anyway, chocolate. Do you know anything about this chocolate? Oh, Ta oh, loves those. You like Odoroki Man? Yes, actually, I was hooked on them at one point. My Ota loves them too. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. He was the best at it. He's the best at spending money. About last night. Last night? What time? Yes. Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. What did she say? Oh, Lie for me or I'll kill your child. We Looks like Bulma if she were a grandma. And Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. I Not mean, both eyes. your eyes? Uh, well. My right eye was closed. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What kind of. She just said a very it nostalgic was when my dream. My son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And 
he was taking so long, my husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. Was he too he scared to cross the street? Come home because the signal was still red. Aww. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. I feel like this is something that would happen to me if I was a kid. So stubborn. I'm already done so enough as an adult. Stupidly honest. Ah, oh, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. Wait, you did, you never taught your kid how to use crosswalks, and you expected him to like go downtown by himself? About that photo that. Oh, I looked this? at and got knocked out. All right, Luke. I hope you have a good one. Good luck at your work. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to. He play. still is small, lady. I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they the gave apron? Me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh yeah, the knife. kitchen knife too. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling. That's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, that's very nice, mate. Where is your husband? Oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. He's dead. His name is Matsushita Takaro. Uh. Okay. He <laughs> died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Interesting mustache he's got there. What? A very welcoming looking fellow, too. What is going on here? Now we know where Oda gets his delusions of grandeur from. I mean... Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? It's gonna show that she's not lying, huh? Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. Her whole brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Oh no. Dementia. Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. Yet she always remembers Tessa and how much of a witch she is. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments were coming from. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can she run a diner like that? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. What? Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally. Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. I can't believe it. Wow. Yet yeah, Tessa comes and eats here for free. Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. It is funny though how she really remembers all the stuff regarding Tessa. I guess she's just that powerful of 
of an idol. Oh, they always mention the autographs. But not this time. I wonder what happened if we ordered something from her. Also, wouldn't you say that the diner is technically running? Because if she thinks it's running and it is open, she would technically put a sign on the door that says open, right? So what's to say that it isn't actually running? It's more that just like no one's showing up. And she doesn't realize that people aren't showing up. It doesn't look like we're getting any extra messages. Alright. Maybe because it's more of an emotional response than a literal recollection of events. Maybe. This is interesting because that's probably the most recent thing that sticks in her brain. How did you get in? Hopped over the fence. That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. Is he feeding the merman again? <laughs> Look, Iva. A giant salad. Oh, different. Mr. Sejima is a wealthy man. Perhaps it is his pet. Really? Hmm. Any coin in the pond as well as a salamander. Do you know Iris Sagan? I don't. Who is that? This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. I detect well, no Well, you sure seen her mother, haven't you, sir? This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Iva. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. There we go. Oh, we can continue that later. What? What the heck? Just tell us. Why would he even tease it like Sleeping, that? Of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. Okay. Seems legit. Not a big moss ball. No? I'm a huge A-set fan. I mean, it's no. It's this girl. Cute? What was that? Oh, boy. Uh, nothing. You just said cute, didn't you? I did not. You did. Did not. Did. I said shoot. Why would you say shoot? Look, I said I don't know her, all right? Doesn't seem to do much, uh... Politician, which is probably accurate for a politician. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several, but for some reason, they are all powered off. There is no image data for the past few days. Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So, Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> it's not a word. Okay. All a ticking. I didn't want to get Doc, stop confusing me with fake words. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the coin. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body.
Oh. This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. I mean, we have an evolver. Doesn't even look like he's in a good spot so to pull it out quickly. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, he is a bodyguard. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh, yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> are you finished? Dante's really bad at getting warrants. If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Dante, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. Every time we come here, it's a waste of time. <laughs> Guess we should go to the hospital. Can't you arrest him for that? For having a, a gun? I mean, I don't know how the laws work in Japan, but generally you need probable cause, which readily apparent, like it has to be something that's like, you should be able to blatantly see without having to like force, I believe. Something like that. Are you okay? Like even if they, d they do end up having a reason to arrest them, I, I forget. I don't know. Dante. Oh, can you rest him for being a politician? The nurse Maybe. told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. Yay. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. Shouldn't you float away if the weight left your shoulders? It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. About Iris. She... Iris lost her left eye. Hey, just like me. They haven't found it Twinsies. yet. Twinsies. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me, Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. She lost her eye. While I was waiting I'm for guessing. news from Iris' surgery, I, I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. I'm guessing she was murdered by the original Cyclops killer. That must have been very painful. Yes. Date has his left, he's missing his right. Isn't his left Iba? It's always left eye. I saw it with my left eye. Stuff like that. Do you know anything about Iris and so? So, Sejima? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Like the left, the, the yellow eye is his artificial one, right? I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. They didn't really press her about the politician very hard, did they? Oja saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. It's also kind of his fault she was there. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. <laughs> I re- It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. About Oda. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one. To I know say, that the original killer. I believe he grew up to be quite was an amazing taking... young man. He risked his own life to save oh, someone hey. else. His mother must have raised him well. She raised him to be a big weeb. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect Hitomi? Not necessarily, but... 
Sorry for asking you so many questions. No, it's fine. I should go. Say so, yeah. Is this the same hospital room we were in when uh, Mizuki was in it before? I assume they would probably save time by using the same Peek hospital room. Pardon me? Really? When I was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. Right, the original killer took right eyes, the new one seems to be removing the left ones. Right, because I remember that was one of the things they were saying of how they could be different because of that. Although, interestingly, Date had his left eye go missing six years ago. I never hear this type of music in hospitals. Interesting to go with this. Well, either I guess it's not supposed to be coming from the hospital, it's just the background music. Alright, let's get out of here. Date Residence. Guess it's finally time to check up on Mizuki. Oh yeah, sorry about leaving you at the bar the other day. Hey Mizuki. Oh no, she's break? going at it again. I want to ask you something. No. <laughs> Stop, Mizuki. Aren't you strong enough? This is going to get out of hand. Oh, we can't analyze anything right now. Wow, I think that's the first time that's they just straight up haven't let you look at anything. The game soundtrack is all diegetic. Die, uh, die I, I forgot what that was called. When music in a film, like, or a, vi or a piece of, like, like, a film or something, is actually also heard by the people in the film. That's what that word means, right? I, I, I always try to remember what that was, and I can't remember. Aiba plays a Tadate. I feel like that could be nice, but it could also potentially be annoying if your eyeball is constantly playing background music for you. Alright, um, you're mad at me, aren't you? Uh-oh. Oh no, she's not talking. Now it's just like the other path all over again. Mizuki's still working her muscles, even though she really, Listen, really doesn't it. have to. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang, the Kumakuras. Remember, Mama said Renju had some connection with them, so I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? Please understand. Please don't break my leg. I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'm afraid of no ghosts. Three seconds. Well, he's probably right. This vibrates his skull to produce sound in the inner ear. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. Oh. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. Oh, I'm attractive. Uh huh. Keep telling yourself that. He does like to say that a lot. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. Damn. My girlfriend is a ninja. You know, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? I already tried asking you like four things. Oh, now we can look at everything. The weights are real iron. The total weight is 220 pounds. Not that I can actually bench that. Jeez. You know the scary part? It's not even that she could lift 220 pounds. She's doing so many repetitions that she can most certainly lift more than 220 pounds. This is like her warm up almost, considering how many times she's doing it. Because your max weight, you would only be able to do it like, I don't know, maybe like 10 times. 
You watch weird videos when I'm not around, don't you? No. Weird videos? Something about cuckoldry? Oh! Dante! No, 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 no. Those are husbandry videos. Dante, no. No. You know, like, animal husbandry? Uh, raising livestock. Anyway, don't touch my computer without permission. What is this game? Sword. <laughs> Why? Why is this the game that you suggested me to play? Dante just keeps getting worse with every stream I do. Oh lord. Hey, could you stop hanging your clothes next to mine? Why? Your old people smell is going to get all over them. <laughs> but it's I mean, I do like older women. Date, I don't think that is what she's talking about. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Four years ago, Mizuki used to hide in them to scare you, didn't she? Inside the speakers? Yeah, and I would scold her every time. She hasn't done such childish things lately. Good news for me. You think so? I imagine that a part of you actually misses it. Oh. It would be very hard to have a romantic relationship with Aiba always there. Well, if Aiba was a, a true bro, then she could actually help. Wait, there's a bra hanging from the ceiling? No, wait, just lighting equipment. That doesn't look anything like a bro. Oh, I see, like it's a the cup. He just sees everywhere. My hard drive is full of animal husbandry videos. That actually doesn't sound better, uh, Date. So maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Oh, I put the notice from your credit card company in there. Okay. Keep a bunch of documents that I don't want to open in there. Alright, guess it's time to actually talk to her. Date, I've I hacked their cell phone to determine the best topics for conversation. Oh no. Ota is amazing. Really? Is he? I'm changing my mind about that guy. You know he knocked me out and ran away with her, and this is what caused this to happen, right? Iris and Ota came out of it okay. They'll both live. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. Okira Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else. Okay, I remember that. We talked about that before. Take him. Oh, thanks whoops. for talking with me. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation. Wait, whoops. you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you. No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay. I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? Yeah, I literally see it every time I come home. You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, what happened? Oh no, she got into a fight? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. Wow. That's messed up. And they teased me, and I got mad, and I told them to go away, and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. I already did. They're all dead. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. What? That's not a good advice at all, generally, if a, your child is being abused at school. 
or bullied on, rather. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. Oh, so this is the origin of what? her training. I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. Wait, so she got able to lift over 200 pounds and within one year? We're starting right now. Get ready. Wait, what's going on? Why oh. the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. Really you sure you can? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I'm going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. Okay. Training dummy. It's a tree. It's a training dummy. A shrine dummy. A guardian dummy. I think I prefer interns. What? What does it say? When riding an elevator, mashing the door close button doesn't actually do anything. That's what it says. You're lying. <laughs> Aren't you? I wonder why she can't read it. What? Oh, he can't read it either. He just made it up. Hey, Date, what's that? It's a chosen. There must be like unusual characters on there. This is where you wash your belly button in the sacred water before you oh, visit. Oh, your shrine. belly button. Belly button. Yes, absolutely. In Shinto, the belly button is said to be the dirtiest place. That is why, before praying, you have to cleanse yourself. Pretty sure you wash your hands usually. I see. My belly is holy. Okay. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Date, I wish you wouldn't lie to her while she's impressionable. Hmm? Your story about the belly button? <laughs> she trusts you, you know. <laughs> She'll catch on eventually. She'll realize that I'm a filthy liar eventually. And then she'll resent me. Wash your hands and face here, but definitely not your belly button. Wait. And arch. The arch. Hey, Date, what's this? It's called a sacred straw rope. In kanji, it's written as poor and linking rope. It's because in ancient China, rope that had water poured on it was used as an amulet to protect from evil. Well, <laughs> hope she doesn't actually snore hey, that loud. You asked. True. Hey, That's why he has, he has to lie to her. Fishing line and gum. Oh, he's gonna rob it. Hey, everybody! There's a thief over here. No stealing allowed. I think it's about everything. Okay, mental preparation is in important. A fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. Before How do you lose at a strip club? In, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental Doesn't matter, you're paying money. The moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Actually, no. That's stupid. Smart girl. Being quick to act is crucial. Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? Yeah, that's war games. The that winning move is, is to not play. Answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. Two I hits. I hit it, you. But... You hit the floor. Of course. I'm not saying that's how Another you should 80s movie. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay. I get it, but... Seriously, Date? Are you, like, acting or something? <laughs> not Date. Master. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, 
when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No. The heart punch. It's the opposite. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. You must fight with morals off. If you have even a moat of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. A punching bag or a board. Just a punching bag. Your everyday life is of dire importance. What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always yeah, that's actually mature good intellectually advice. and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? <laughs> Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Anyway, practice these four truths and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? And how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Well, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say uh -oh. so. I'll give it a shot. Is it going to be like in Dragon Ball Z when they do the punch test to see if you're strong enough to place in the tournament? And then the Z fighters show up and they have to like hold back as to not destroy the freaking thing. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward. Hey! Oh. Okay. Huh? Oh. Look at him. It's terrifying. Wow, you really uh, got good at the four truths. I, I definitely taught you well. Um. You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. Y are you kidding me? Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, yeah, if she did, they would all be dead right now. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike <laughs> your master. That is a must. After he's seen that, he's like, yeah, don't ever punch me, please. I beg of you. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong, you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because... I'm your guardian, that's all you have to tell her. I'm trying to protect you. I took responsibility for there you. There you go. I promised Renju, I can't put you in danger. That's not fair. Bring me up, daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. Although, in the other timeline, you bring her... To a place where there's like dozens of armed men. So hmm. they don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know when the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Oops. Oh, I actually have eight likes on this. When did that happen? It's so confusing because YouTube always says there's only one person watching, even though there's usually at Before least more than that. Before we reach that. HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Uh, these are tasty when they're golden brown. I believe you're referring to hash browns. Really? Dashboard turn into hash browns? Boxing gloves. A boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. Yeah. Jack says I just press the like button every 10 minutes or so. 
Well, I appreciate it because it's really helping my self-esteem with all these likes coming in. I'm exhausted. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. Pardon me? What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. Huh, now it's awkward. <laughs> yeah. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume, but... She might not remember. Correct. Ugh. Sword said I can tell you I dislike the video. You can't tell if I'm lying or not anymore. I think there is a plugin or whatever you call it, a script or something that will show dislikes on YouTube again. I don't know how long it'll work for though. Because I'm sure YouTube will try their there best to update it until you so it doesn't work. The new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. Aww. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah. I don't think it's the, that's representing the mom, considering we saw mom at. So I'm more interested in the guns that so uses as bodyguards. Nope, no Walter time on Saturdays, thankfully. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sajima Sorry, has substantial security. I know you like feeling Walter's presence in the background the during my streams, but this heavily armed. Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. The so night is not the night. Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Megumi Matsushita's. <gasps> she was the polar bear. What? Her dementia's out of control. Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called eights. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota from stole the From the family mart. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. Oh, it's supposed to be 7-Eleven. I didn't even catch that. It's funny, I caught the Family Mart one, but not the 7-Eleven, which should have been more and obvious. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Now all they need is a Lawson knockoff. Because those are like wow. the three main convenience store chains in Japan. to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris' operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Crime scene? Is that actually... And one of the stories in here. Yeah. Man, I hope we get an ending tonight. Because I'm getting concerned. If, if there's five other endings. And I haven't gotten the second one yet. Like already that means that. It's going to take at least one. Fairly long stream for each. Ending. Which means five more streams. 
So that's even if I get one ending on this stream. How are you feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Just drink this. It's funny not seeing him in weeb clothes for once. He actually looks normal. Oda seems almost happy to answer. It's called being on anesthesia. Maybe it was drugs. Maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation. Maybe it was because he saved Iris. That's yeah, true. Sure. Surviving life or death situation can be quite a high. Unlike any other. It's probably why Is adrenaline it a junkies. Table when you move it away from the bed? I suppose then it's just a table. Hey, Date, when are you planning on leaving? The good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. The good stuff. I like how Date knew exactly what he was talking about. I'll leave this to you, Date. Um. Further you get, the I'm less time each one takes. Alta. Final training takes a bit, but you might be able to get the other two in one stream. Well, oh, there's five in total. And I've done one already. So wouldn't that be three other ones aside from the final one? In me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Little? I'm 24. <laughs> to me, you're still little. If I did, I would have told you already. Old uh, Oda's older than Sword. Which just proves that your baby Patient. Oh wait. Hey, Date. I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Will you sleep with me? Pardon me? Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Oh. Old woman? She doesn't even look old. She looks. She looks mature, but like not like old. Maybe compared to Iris. How did you hear about Iris? Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real Why trouble. Why is everyone acting like the last thing that didn't happen was him knocking him out and then running away and then they got captured? Everyone's just like, he's a hero, he's a hero. Like, dude. Like, if he didn't do that, they probably wouldn't have had that happen to them, but no one's acknowledging that. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. I hope special. they at least ask about it's whatever it was. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. <laughs> when I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Is rising. Oh! He's embellishing his story quite a bit. I think we can let that go today. He's going mad with false power. Yeah, you're right. Uh, if you don't have too much trouble with any of the Somniums, definitely able to do it in three more streams. Alright, hopefully. Who stabbed you? The polar bear, probably? Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. No, they were just wearing it for fun. Oh, yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk. Here we you? go. Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
Is it though, Dante? But you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. I swear I won't hit. I won't assault an officer again. All right, that's fine. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. A little closer. That's. Yeah, tell me what the thing is that you knocked me over the head for. They, they haven't even asked him, like, okay, how did you get kidnapped? Date, you suck as a detective, man. And the boss Sorry. should be asking that at least. I promise that I wouldn't here. tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is going to come crashing down. Dude, you down. should have threatened him with that sooner. <sighs> But I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. Oh. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. All right, let's hear it. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. You know, what say. did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging Instead, out in Hopita for Ranger a few hours. And hung him by a hook. You know, just a little thing. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car I was going to cross the intersection, but the light was red forever, so I just started crying. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. <gasps> Iris was driving it? But we already knew that, didn't we? We knew that they were together. And Tess, uh, Tessa already Whoa, explained you that. You surprised me. I'm more surprised than you are. Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Oh, I thought they meant that she was driving with the dude. Never mind. Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. Wow, so this is what you assault the that, cop for, the huh? After that, turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. She didn't even give That's you a ride? That's what I meant by that thing. And she opened driving the door. without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. All right. Saturday at 6.15 p.m. Ota saw they together. were leaving the Sunfish pocket, leaving sunfish pocket. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? So she lied, right? Because she didn't say that she did... Well, of course she wasn't going to say she was driving a car illegally. Though. This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had Maybe there's a new time, new Cyclops killer. Killed. What do you think about on that here? one? Alright, now about that chocolate. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? <laughs> you don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. He didn't say anything. You mean I could tell he was lying about being silent. You with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Okay, so I'm guessing that... Okay, so this is where the polar bear 
took the car, drove her to the warehouse, and then he must have stole someone else's car and chased them. Oh, to help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away. Was driving I looked, away, around, looked around, and I saw there was a car with yeah. the station wagon, right? That's exactly Yeah. Before I even realized what I was I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. Okay, Jackie Chan. That's something that Jackie Chan always did in the animated series. He would, like, borrow somebody's, like, vehicle or anything because he was in the middle of like of like a chase and he'd be like sorry i'll bring it back later thank you the time was 10 33 p.m now we know why ota stole the station wagon i took the car then drove out onto koshu but i couldn't find the van anywhere i searched for what felt like hours you didn't contact the police i thought after i hit you you shouldn't have worried about that but that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Okay. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. What if the polar bear is just like... one of Otto, Otto, one of Oda's alt accounts? And this is just a more, an extreme version of him defending her from himself to get cred. I remember rushing the bear. And then he stabbed himself to really make it look real. And I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry. I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. After all this, what is he trying to hide? I don't think he would remove Iris's eye to keep up the bit. Well, that's where you're wrong, Fak. He's such a hardcore fan. That he now has Iris's eye on his shelf next to all his A-set figurines. It's on a little pedestal. Date. And he's Ota like, Iris is Iris, the ultimate trophy for an A-set fan. I advise caution. What do you mean? What? He also has a gun on him. Oh! How did he get that? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Really? After what just happened? He's Why gonna... does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. Freaking take it from I him? I know. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! He needs to chill. Just give him another hit. <laughs> Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. Just wait an hour. But you can still get information. Oh, we're we gonna sync with Oda? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I want to know what's inside his head. Dante, as you know, I, for some reason, did not consider the fact that we might go into Oda's brain. Won't be a problem, but are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But okay. It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. 
I like how the number 89 prisoner storyline is just completely been ignored in this timeline. Yeah, he called and said he knows about the murders and just, eh, whatever. We got other stuff going on. Guess we're too busy for that. We have to go into a weeb's brain. Yeah, I want to know how the heck he even got a knife. Because it didn't look like a surgical knife. Can you please take me with you? Um... As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. She's acting like a cat in a box. A stray cat. Is this... Oh, okay, good. I, I thought we were gonna be like an anime land or something. Seems to be. This music is way too triumphant. Not a manga cafe or an otaku shop. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action dramas. I guess they didn't want to. Even they couldn't bring themselves to build one of those sets. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Oh my god, she's tiny. Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... <gasps> the polar bear. Well? Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. Uh -huh. Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Unnecessary front flip. I will protect Tessa. Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. This music is just so extra. Somnium scan! Activate! We're so tiny though, how the heck are we gonna... ...make our way around this warehouse? First one's on like the floor, second one's the table, third one is the polar bear itself. Fourth one is Ota. Gotta remember that. I'm guessing the first one is like grow to normal size so we can actually like get around faster. Curse you, polar bear. I will vanquish you! But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. <laughs> That's an interesting way to slip on ice. Was exactly like how the music the just game might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Oh, we're so tiny. Okay. So this must be the floor. The ice on the floor is slick. If we jump, we could potentially break it. It costs a lot though. But screw it, I guess we'll go for it. The orthodox method. Understood. Huh? Hey, it broke. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? No, 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 not at all. Those who don't fight won't survive! That wasn't a woo. Damn, you just friggin' tackled him. You did a, that shoulder bump. Wait, there's another break? Do you guys want me to do one specific path here?
victory be yours! It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Escort him to the green shelf. That's episode two. Iris is on the platform. What does it say? Ears? Throw ice at her, wake her. Uh, sure, let's throw ice. This is an ice cold one. Just throw it. Yeah. No good, huh? <laughs> I believe that Ota has to be the hero of this story. And he needs a little more motivation. Iris is on the platform. Agent Dante, you've got four. Ears. I'm not sure what that means exactly. But sure. Tessa's catchphrase. Yeah. Oh. I think he's gonna make her react to that. All right. Ears. Headset. Head. A set. You bet. No, not you. This will probably not help wake Iris. A machine used for cutting ice. Ooh. Move it. Pick. That costs a lot. Damn, these these options cost a lot, but we have some good tinies here at least. Right, turn it on. Iris will be cut in two if you turn on the power. Are you thinking that might be the motivation Ota needs? Yes. It may only be a dream, but it could severely damage Ota's mental health. You're right. I didn't think about that. Let's not do that, but that would have cost 100 still. I hate when they cost a lot even if you, you don't actually perform the action a machine you were considering. Alright, I guess we'll move it first then. Oh no, I can't do that. Damn, I thought you could combine timings maybe. So I need to find something that's really cheap. A fork? None of these are really cheap. I think we just screwed ourselves over. Oh, that's not a thing. The forklift, the tire is frozen. Seriously? An oil, though it is. Wow. That's that's lame. A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frost. Whoa. This sucks. Why? The door. Really? Every freaking option is just gonna end it? A plate attached to the cold has. Hang on. You have three minutes, Dante. Iris. Okay. Like, we know this isn't gonna work, but I'm just gonna do this anyways. Iris! This Tessa! Is the cheapest. She's not waking. Alright, now we can freaking. A machine used for. Alright. Okay, so maybe we need to move it first. And then. Turn it on. Oh, uh, we're, we're too small to move it though. I can't do that. With I don't think it would even hurt. If that makes sense. Maybe use the forklift. A forklift. What does it say? Sor. Sorty. What the hell sorty mean?
not even accepted by Ota. What does this have to do with Ota? A forklift. What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual <laughs> has been destroyed. Okay, I... All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. What is this, like a now, Gundam? cargo handling car. Forklift. Sorty! What happened? It has reversed in time. I don't think this ending is acceptable. We're forgetting something. Right. I have... What are we forgetting? You have less than two minutes. Hurry! A forklift. I don't think pushing is going to do anything. Maybe I have to do the ice one? He did insulation door. I can't assume that would do anything. Ah. <sighs> There's plates everywhere, but I don't know if that is actually relevant to anything. I have no idea. I'll try the ice. There has to be a reason why this one's frozen. Since the other one doesn't do anything. I did read the objectives. They say bring him to the green or red shelves, and I'm trying. But these things don't really want to work. All systems green. Synchronization rate six percent. Well, the green shelf is where Iris is sitting on, or laying on. But talking to her doesn't get him to go towards it. Turning the machine on, we're not allowed to do that. In fact, we can't move it, and I know pushing it's not going to work either. Because this is the green shelf, right? Or I, is it not? I don't know. It, it, it's green sometimes. And this is the red one, but I don't even know. There's nothing near it to get him to go this way. A plate I don't understand these plates either. Breathe on. Yeah, D's don't really do it for me. They have to be at least an F. Okay, there is no do. end to your desire. Well, I'm back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Okay, that does nothing. Unless the oil drum has some other purpose. An oil drum. I don't remember what we've done with it already. I don't think we've rolled it yet. I haven't done anything with the oil drum? I could have sworn we did at least one thing. Eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa. Okay. Stand your 
ground. The control. I have to fight back with something. Well, we're not gonna have time to do it now, are we? Unless maybe. A remote control. It felt. No, we definitely don't have time. Well, we could at least do one of these and see if it does anything. is coming to an end our broadcast what will happen to our hero there is no ne okay. uh i'm not gonna have enough time for lock two huh so i need to go back to lock one Man, this whole time I thought that I specifically needed to do something on the table. Didn't it show that the second lock was on the table? I think that's what confused me. Like the opening thing, I was specifically trying to keep in mind where all the locks was. The first one was the floor. The second one was the table. The third one was the polar bear and the fourth one was Oda, I believe. I think that's what threw me off. I really thought that I had to do something with the table because of that opening. I'm gonna have to rewatch that job. opening. Though it is like Whoops, god, I pressed up on the joystick. That was close. I meant to uh there we go. Good thing that this is D-pad. Watch him scuttle in high speed. <laughs> Okay, and the remote control needs power, so where would we be able to turn power on in this place? Oh, power board. That wasn't open before. I wonder if there's a reason why we're it tiny here. Is it just so that Oda won't notice this? Throw something, jump, pray. I don't think we're going to be able to reach it if we jump. Thing, there's lots of ice. This is an ice cold one. I you already said that. The switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Wow, nice shot. Because it's funny if I was tiny. I guess she was giant and another Somnium, so they had to go the other way. I, I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. This is annoying. Okay. Well, since the whole point of turning the power on was to get the three minutes, controller working, I think it's safe to say. Unless we have to do. Ota looks frightened. Encourage. Mm. I'm gonna hit the button first because they specifically said the power needed to be on control. for this. I don't think they'd be that mean to trick us. Here it goes. It was pretty expensive too. I hear some sounds, but no response. I'm not sure I should press it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ota looks bright. Cheer, encourage, motivate. Those three things are all very similar. Also, it doesn't tell you how much time they, they take up. I feel like cheer would be the one that we get most. 
They're not gonna tell us how much time it takes up until... Okay, I'm just gonna use a 30 just to be safe. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it! The ghost inside me whispered. That's right! I can't run away the now. ghost inside me whispered. Tessa. Awaken the soul. Maybe this. Oh, his belt buckle. I need to get a good look at it again. Jesus. Hold up. Oh, well, his, his belt looks like a game. I always thought it was like a game controller, like a Game Boy or some kind of handheld console. You hit the limit. Time's up. Wait, I can almost make out their face. Cuter, force shutdown. Stop. What? Stop I have plenty of time left. That's BS. <gasps> well, I was joking. <laughs> That must be why Oda was protecting, or not revealing who it was. So, that, it, that explains why they had such the, that, that oddly specific detail that the knife was designed to have flowers on it. Well, Oda m must have seen the knife. At least, even if he didn't see the face. Unless he did see the face and he just didn't tell the truth, that's also possible. I mean, who knows what Iris said to the mom to, like, trigger her, it could have made her do something. What were you thinking? You can only stay Insomnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. Wait a minute. They keep hinting towards that? The only way they would know that that's the case is if it's happened before. And he doesn't remember anything after six years ago. And he's had his left eye taken out because someone must have put him into where they synced with him. So now I'm wondering... The reason why he doesn't remember is because he, wa he was someone else and then someone synced with him and they stayed in for too long and now he has all the he became that other person or whatever i don't no, know the specific but I, i'm starting to feel like that's around the case this isn't just about you date if your consciousness erodes inside of somnium you put the subject in danger as well if i may fortunately there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink date and ota both read normal yeah, they're fine. Although, the timing was really close. Dude, Date almost got took over by a weeb brain. What and there would have been two Odas. You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. They were nice enough to, uh, put Oda in his weeb clothes before they put him under, apparently. That's the only or way after could have ended up in his they song. put him under. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. 
If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. Surely someone they noticed the like knife, they were knocked right? Out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. Someone must have noticed that knife. That is what we witnessed in insomnia. It's on video. Yeah. Nope, no one noticed the knife. <laughs> These detectives are really bad at their job, aren't they? I've been watching you Let's chill. Hey, did you hear something just now? I did not. Perhaps you're imagining it. That's really chill. Sarcasm. I wish I could climb up on that table and fly around the world on it with Tessa. What kind of fantasy is that? Yeah, that's a weird fantasy. Flying on a table? What? I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Isn't that like Dom Pierre or something? Or it's like a wine. You can lick my shoes. Pardon me? I vow to never apologize for anything ever again. Guys, I don't know if I could take this game much longer. This is just too much. Date, look! That haunted girl is crawling out of the well. Well, why not give knife hunting a whirl? Are you glitching out or something? They sure like referencing the ring. Stuff with mysterious mushrooms. It's all right. As I mentioned earlier, both your brain waves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Anything else? Maybe the polar bear better. fled with the knife. I mean, it's, it's possible, drowsy. but they should still consider. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh, oh, it hurts. It started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date. Don't blame me. That was boss. I'll sue you for this. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Or how about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't see Oh, boy. It just never stops with this Oza game, does back it? To his healthy self. Guess so. Let's give me one of her straws to put next to her eyeball. Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But... They don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. What? Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. Why would you need your, your room? Oh, in case you take a girl back home. I guess I'm not usually thinking about that if I'm going to a party. About the hook and the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Yeah, like Ota goes at parties all the time, right? He might, I mean, they've said that he's like a, actually one of the sociable weebs. Now that you mention it, one of the most terrifying did. versions. Maybe. 
It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. They, sh they would have found blood on the floor the if that was the case, right? The crane hook got on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. They would have Doctor, definitely found I that. checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. Remember what happened after, though. Um... What happened after... Then Oda got stabbed? So you're saying Oda's blood covered up all of the suspect's blood conveniently? They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. It'd be weird if they both bled on the exact same spot. You think you'd be able to tell? So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people Date, with an injured left leg. don't look at my left, left leg. leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? Uh-oh. What the hell is that? What? My medication. Date, what is the matter? Night, night. Date! Are you alright? Is it cause he haven't had a good nap in a while? Sword. I mean, hi hungry, I'm Jay. Look, all I'm saying is they could have found one little drop of blood. They just took me home. <sighs> hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. At the club? Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Oh, because we were in there for too long? It was too much stress? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Fair enough. Wow, you still kind of let me sleep in what was once my bed, huh? Speakers themselves are mostly hollow, which I guess is how Mizuki was able to hide in there. So this is probably a good part to wrap up, right? What do you guys think? Since we just finished with the sink, and now it's a new day. It's a new day, yes it is. Bang. frying pan I got hit with. Um, Alright, we'll just save right here then. Wow, so we did a sink. Did we do two sinks? We did two sinks actually this stream, so that's good. Yeah, I think we did some good progress today. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to reach another ending next stream. 
can make some good progress. I might do another um, sly stream before the next one of this. We'll see. I do want to try to finish this up quickly though, so that way I can get my next rental, whatever that's going to be. All right. Well, thank you everyone as always for joining. Um, things are getting more intense. We'll find out who the killer is very soon. We all know it's, we all knew it was Mizuki from the start, but at least we'll finally be able to confirm it once we get there in the game. But anyways, yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. I'll catch you next time. Good night. <laughs>